Rachel Notley has assured Albertans that the new minimum wage increases aren't going to affect the economy. Her and her NDP caucus have insisted that the increase won't have an effect on businesses and won't result in job losses. Well, that's a lie because we're now starting to hear from local businesses and our freedom of information documents that were acquired even go as far as suggesting that the NDP were so confident in their plan that they didn't need to consult with any businesses or any studies and just rammed the policy through like they usually do. But now just over a week after the wage increase by a dollar, businesses are telling us how it's affecting them and how they're trying to soften the blow of this increase. Cineplex Odeon has now raised ticket prices anywhere from 22 to 51 cents across the country. 90% of their 13,000 employees make minimum wage, so clearly a dollar increase will affect their bottom line. Of course, they're passing that on to the consumer, which we've been saying all along. We're also hearing from the service industry. The vice president of the Western Canada region of Restaurants Canada states that 78% of restaurants will cut hours and complete rounds of layoffs due to the added costs resulting from wage increases. Earls is also test driving a plan to charge a mandatory hospitality fee of 16%, which was met with mixed reactions since people should be able to decide whether to tip or not depending on level of service. The restaurant says that it's to pay their employees a higher wage, in other words, to compensate for a minimum wage hike. Again, this is just another cost being passed on to customers. And then of course, there are automated options like order kiosks, and in this example where McDonald's has brought in self-serve coffee stations that customers can also pay at in an attempt to divert tasks away from employees. Rachel Notley really believes that the majority of Albertans support these policies, but forgets that the NDP only garnered 40% of the vote in protest. Businesses are now speaking out, and it's clear that they're responding to this new increase in ways that affect consumers and employees negatively. People are losing their jobs, and consumers are paying higher prices. Rachel Notley can't hide behind her explanations. These are real issues that businesses are speaking out on, and anyone with a basic sense of business would know that socialist policies are detrimental. I suppose incompetence is just something we've come to expect from the Alberta NDP government. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Have you had a chance to sign my petition at beerfreedom.ca? Click the link below to add your name and support free trade in Canada.